Hello everybody and welcome to the Flight Sim Deck. My name is Patrick and today we're checking out Red Bull Air Race, which is a new racing sim that just came out and it's totally free for you to get. I'll put the link in the description. Right here we're taking a look at a run I did at the uh, National Arches Park. And uh, this is a great racing sim. I've been waiting for something like this for a while. Now, when you first load it up, the interface looks like this. You pick your avatar and then you select the gender that you want to be and then you hit create and that'll start your user account now from here you pick the uh, skill level you want to fly at and also you can set up the um, the way you want your controls to be so you have novice amateur and pro we're probably gonna go with the pro option today we want the most realism that we can get and uh, then we'll set up the uh, the flight stick here you can they have a couple already made for you if you want but we're gonna do a a custom one. They have the keyboard already set up um, and then I think if you go over they have a couple other controllers. Now to configure it you just click and then move the stick in the direction that it's asking. Um, one thing I will say when you get to the throttles they have a throttle up throttle down. Just configure the first one which is throttle and that will um, set up the throttle axes for you correctly. Just make sure you're moving the throttle up and uh, that'll be good. So we're gonna check out the tutorial event which is Spielberg and uh, let's have a listen. Welcome to the Red Bull Air Race World Championship Spielberg, set of the foot of the Styrian Mountains at the Red Bull Ring in Austria. This race course is one of the most challenging on the circuit due to the 61 meter vertical difference between the lowest and highest gate. Consisting of 13 air gates, pilots must use the terrain wisely to line up the start of each lap as they approach both of them from a difficult sight line. High G turns also need to be optimal for the pilot to maintain speed when coming down the hill, avoiding penalty through the final gates. The winning time is expected to be under one minute. The yellow flight path is your course guide. If it turns red, adjust your banking angle to get it back to yellow again. Try to follow the flight path around the course as best you can. All right, we're going to start with our very first run. Now you can turn the HUD off down here as I'm doing right now, I'm toggling it. And then you can switch to the different camera views. Uh, make sure you map that to your controller or flight stick. And uh, I'm gonna do the cockpit view. And um, this is my very first run at this. Uh, you cannot turn off the, um, the uh, flight path that it's showing you. But when you do a replay, you can have it off and you can run the cockpit view and use that so if you want to record it and uh, show it without that you do have that option at the end of the video or at the end of the race to uh, watch the video back so right now we're just gonna fly this uh, they kind of want you to stay within this um, you don't get any points knocked off they're just showing you the uh, best flight path you can take for speed so uh, we're just flying this uh, without any gateways or anything the uh, next phase will uh, put you in an actual race but the uh, graphics on this are amazing, frame rate is great, and it's all free, you know. So, you know, and it's worth checking out. You know, there's some things that are free that, you know, aren't really worth your time. But this is something that's worth your time if you enjoy uh, racing planes and, and uh, stuff like that. Flight mechanics are uh, they're fairly good. Um, they're not too bad at all, you know, for for what this is. Doing a loop here. I love this one. It's kind of like a little corkscrew loop, and then back around, and we're finished. Great job so far. Now let's try it with some air gates. The key to a good race is to get as few penalties as possible. Here are some tips. Remember to enable your smoke before the first gate and keep it on throughout the race. Make sure you fly through the red section of the air gate with your wings level. Use the flight path as your guide to keep you at the correct bank angle and height. Well, 
Okay, turn the smoke on and we're ready to go through these gates. Now, you can't turn off the music either, or if you can, I just did not notice the controls for it yet. They might actually be in there, but I just didn't see them at first glance. Uh, and that would be nice if you could turn the music off and just get the engine sounds, I would like that. Uh, but uh, for now, we got this uh, epic music going on. and This is a fun course here. Um, I, as far as racing simulation goes, this is the best I've seen of it, personally. Uh, especially for something that is uh, not going to cost you anything initially. This is my very first run, and I'm doing okay. I'm going to get better at it as I practice, get a more, get a different feel for these planes and uh, the flight mechanics and also the courses. Very nice sun effect. And I love how they added everything, you know, you got the trucks, all the things you would see at the race, you know, and then the people, and it just looks great down there. So we finished the race, got our smoke off. I just like a front, well done. Congratulations on earning your first license. All pilots start with the preliminary license, but as you improve as a pilot, completing challenges and racing events, you'll earn new licenses and unlock new planes. To start racing, you have to own a plane. Don't worry about the cost of your first plane. Your sponsors have given you some cash to cover it. Press Buy New to enter the plane purchase screen. More and more planes, each with a slightly different flying style, will become available to you as you earn more money and unlock new licenses. Right now, you have enough cash to purchase the Sparrow BT-9. Press buy to complete the purchase. Now that you have your first plane, it's time to get back up in the air to test yourself against other aspiring pilots. Press the Play Now button to see what events and modes are available. This is your event hub. New and different events will appear here regularly, so make sure you keep checking back here to play them. First up, though, it's time to try out your new plane in a race event. Okay, now we're going to pick somewhere to race, and uh, we're going we're to do the Arches National Park, which reminds me a lot of Star Wars Episode One, the pod racing scene battery. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Um, actually, you already saw it in the intro, but you'll see a little more in depth uh, once we start racing there. You can pick the time of day, afternoon, morning, evening, and then you can pick whether you have uh, different different cloud patterns and rain and add all kinds of great stuff like that, which I will get into in a moment. I'll show you some rain uh, later on, but for now, let's get into uh, Arches National Park and do some racing. Welcome to the Red Bull Air Race World Championship, Arches National Park. 
Containing over 2,000 natural sandstone arches, including the world-famous Delicate Arch, this natural rock wonderland is located on the Colorado River in Utah, USA, consisting of eight air gates, Lining up the double gate correctly for the high G turn is critical to posting a good time on what is a deceptively simple looking track. Those willing to push themselves hardest on the turns will reap most rewards. All right, now we're watching the replay, which uh, I chose to use this because it turns off the uh, flight path uh, thing, which is a little distracting when watching the video. Um, helps when you're actually flying, because a lot of these things come up kind of blind and you gotta know where to turn but um, it does, uh, does look very nice when that is off. Um, I haven't done too many courses. I've flown uh, this one and two others. Uh, so far, this is my favorite one. I just like how it looks um, visually, and it's uh, pretty fun to fly. Excellent stuff, you know? You got these, these uh, hot air balloons and then people standing around watching. Just looks great. Now you, you have this um, replay screen after you end a flight, you can add these filters, you can take a photo, you can record it if you're not using uh, screen capture software, and uh, then you can switch different views, and um, or you can lock a certain view. If you want just one view, you um, just select it at the uh, track camera, or if not, you can have it run through different views um, as we're doing right now. You just click the eyeball and that will full screen it. And this is the replay of our race, looks very great. Uh, very cinematic looking too, the, the camera system in this is really good. skills have caught the eyes of several new sponsors. To be able to fly races and events, you'll need a sponsor. However, sponsorship deals only run for a limited time. As your current deal has run out, please select a new sponsor so that you can keep competing. Press sponsors to see which sponsors are offering you a new deal. Your selected sponsor will kit out all of your planes and your hangar with their design. Before signing with a sponsor, you'll need to check out the sponsor website. Now once you get to this part, it becomes very apparent how they're able to have this uh, simulator as free. And uh, basically you select your sponsor and then you have to view their actual website. And then you can use the sponsor on your plane. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, being this is something, you know, you, you didn't pay for. If all you have to do is view a website, you know, to pick a you know, pick a sponsor and it helps these guys make their money. I mean, that's great because this is actually a, a very nice product um, for them to bring to us. There are also some things you can purchase um, up there. I think they're called wings. Not sure, but up there next to the money where you see 180 at the very top uh, to the left of Play Now. Um, you can buy more of those points and those do things like... Uh, well, one thing I know it makes the maintenance faster. You do have to get your plane fixed and sometimes it can take about five minutes for it to actually fix the plane and you can spend those to um, speed it up. But you don't have to buy them. You also earn them by completing races and things like that. So, yeah, that's uh, 
that's one thing to know. But um, we've been to the website. Now we can accept well done, our sponsor your as uh, deal Nvidia. You to in all game modes and races. Remember, deals only last for a limited period of time, and you'll need to come back to sign a new contract once it runs out. I'm gonna do one that's in the evening with a little bit of rain and have a look at those. So we're gonna do Vegas. And we'll get that selected. Welcome to the Red Bull Air Race World Championship, Las Vegas. Situated in the sunbaked deserts of southern Nevada, Las Vegas Motor Speedway is a stone's throw from the world-famous Strip, where the gambler takes all. Consisting of 13 air gates, you should focus on three big, high-G, long turns to set a good time. And if Lady Luck is on your side and the winds are light, take a last throw of the dice to victory in the season finale. And here we go, there's some of the replays from the run I did in Vegas. Uh, I chose to show you this, uh, these different camera views because it really shows the raindrops. Um, I mean, look at the effect on the screen uh, when it's running on the camera. Um, very nice. And it, like I said before, the way these cameras move are exactly how they would move if they were filming this on live TV. You know, it's got the, it's got the proper camera shake and it moves just right, you know, as if a human is actually behind the camera filming these things. So that looks great. The uh, video plane looks great with those colors. And uh, here's a little loop they have you do in the middle of the race. And that looks great. Too bad they don't add the raindrops to the, the uh, windscreen. That would be very cool if they did. Welcome. Now, last race we're actually going to do is um, this one right here, and we'll close the video out with that. Sporting and Royal Heritage. Normally associated with horse racing, the Ascot turf is fast becoming the throne to Red Bull Air Race thoroughbreds. Consisting of 12 air gates, this is a challenging high-speed, low-altitude land track, and the pilots will rely heavily on their knowledge of the terrain when trying to stay on the optimal race line. Horseshoe Corner is the vertical turn test, allowing for no more than 10G. The winning time is expected to be under one minute. And here we go. This is going to be the last race I will show today. This was also a fun track. Can't say enough on how beautiful this actually looks, you know? It's a very intense game, too. Especially when you fly in the cockpit mode. Everything comes up so fast. And it just, uh... It's been a lot of fun playing this today. Now let's have a look at some of the external plane views at this race course. Definitely going to get into this from now on, um, building up my planes and uh, getting better at racing. So uh, if you guys uh, see me on there, um, let's race together. Uh, my name will be under the flight sim deck, of course, and uh, maybe we can race together. 
So until next time, guys, when we do episode two, where we'll have some new planes and fly some new tracks. Uh, until then, um, you guys check this out. I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you next time on the next video. You take care.